Is a popsicle stick exciting? No, yes. No, not really. It's a green popsicle stick, so that makes it a little better than a regular popsicle stick. But it's not very exciting, right? You know what it needs? Team. The guys who've been here before know what it needs. It needs a team of popsicle sticks. And then a family. But even then, even then, it's not really exciting, which is popsicle sticks sitting on the table, right? So what we need to do is I gotta get them to work together as a team, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them all together so that they're hanging on to each other, all stuck together like a team. When do you work on a team? Okay, in basketball, any sport, you know what, cheerleading's a team too, right? Could one person yell as loud as a bunch of people? No, see, that's the way it works. You gotta have a bunch. That's why you have a cheerleading team. Same thing with basketball. One person couldn't beat a whole team of basketball players, right? Okay? And everybody has to do their job to stick together as a team. And right now I'm helping, I'm part of the team, I'm helping hold them together. You know what happens though if one person stops doing their job? The whole team falls apart. Okay? So, but you know what? We don't just have teams on sports. We have teams other times too. Like your family, that's a team friends are your team, your church is your team, so what I need to do is make a bigger team. Okay? So we're going to make a bigger team, but while I'm making the bigger team, we have to think about this team kind of thing. Because you need your family and your church and your friends to live your life, or else you won't be able to live your life the way God wants or the way you should, because you can accomplish more as a team, right? When you have a team, you can do way more stuff, way cooler stuff and way better stuff, okay? Now, when I really think about it, I think about the Bible. And you know what I see in there? I see that when Jesus was on earth, you know one of the first things he did was? He made a team for himself. Do you know what we call Jesus' team? That's right. We call them the disciples. And Jesus knew that he had to have a team with him or else he couldn't do as much stuff as he could with the team. They needed him, and he needed them as part of the team. That's how they could do so much stuff. That's how Jesus was so successful here. He had his team working with him. And if he hadn't been there with them, they wouldn't be able to do anything anything at all after he left. Because they weren't the smartest guys in the world. Okay? It's kind of like a fence. A fence is kind of like a team. Okay? So, I'm, I'm, I talk faster than I build my team here. So, you got to wait for me to finish my team. How about you guys help me and tell me what color you want? Red. Red. I'm doing red. another red one. I just did a red one. Okay. Okay, blue. I heard. Quicker. That's that may not be possible. Yellow. yellow. I heard yellow. Okay. Red. Okay. Red. 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 Yellow. That's all the red there is. Green. Green. That looks like Christmas. Green. Why are you keeping on the same color? Green. There's no green left. Yellow. Okay. Yellow. Yellow. Good. That's a good choice there at the end. Okay. Now we're all going to work as a team though, because when I let go of this, the popsicle sticks are going to go flying everywhere. So if they go on the floor by you, what I want you to do is be part of my team and bend down, pick them up. And put them back on the table for me so I don't have to do that. That's your part of my team, okay? I need another help, I need more help though from you as my team. What we're gonna do is we're gonna count to three really loud and then I'll let go. Can we do that? Okay, you ready? One, two, three! Pick them up, put them on the table.